Okay, guys, so this is actually our last week in our house. We actually have Crazy. less than like five days in yeah. our house. And so it's pretty much empty, as you can see. We've got, uh, got foxes behind us. All the rooms are pretty much empty, other than like our day to day stuff. And at the end of this week, we are going to move out of this house and in with Ashley's mom and dad. And we're going to be moving the bus, so crazy stuff ahead. <laughs> That's right. And so what we wanted to do is make the most of these last few days and, um, yeah, soak in all that we can. All of our favorite things from living in this house and our neighborhood. So let's go play tennis. We're on a journey, looking back on the things that we've taken for granted, but feels like we're learning. To be better without what's been holding us back now Let's move closer to a new history Find out what we can be together Take my hand and we will conquer the world This is our final chance Alright you guys, so tennis has been one of our favorite things since living here. When we were house hunting, we saw it had a tennis court and we were like, we should get in the tennis. Yep. And we kind of did. Especially during like quarantine yeah. when like we were just trying to find things to do and yeah, tennis was one of those things. <laughs> so we played with our friends Anna and Kyle, Winston on the road. You guys probably saw that if you're an OG, been here for a while. Um, when Nick and Frankie came to visit, we went to another tennis court and yep. stuff. But we love our tennis court and so I'm about to kick. Pick Scott's butt. We shall see. Things first, gotta open these babies up. This is one of my favorite smells in the whole world. The scent of brand new tires and tennis balls. So. Moonlight and fire Dancing closely together And staying forever young What about you and Ivan? Woo, this is a lot more tiring than I remember. <laughs> We didn't, we didn't play so. a real game. <laughs> um, but now, what better way to cool off after a hard, rigorous tennis match than go into the pool? Yes!
to do, we've only done it a couple times, is order food to the pool house. And there's like a cute little cabana area. Um, so I'm gonna order some lunch, thanks to our trusty DoorDash, and get us some lunch. Hey okay, guys, uh, pizza came, so we're gonna have lunch by the pool, pizza by the pool. Um, Under the cabana. Yeah, we just love this this pool area. Um, oh, no. Honestly not, ooh. Sorry. <laughs> We've honestly not used it as much as like we thought we would. You know, yeah. it's like one of those things when you come into a place, it's like we can have our own pool, we yeah. can hang out. But then with life and work and the bus, um, really the really bus. Good, yeah, we're not all really of our good. free time in the neighborhood, we're working on the bus. You know. And so um, it's just nice these uh, past couple of days we've been coming out and using it, yeah. uh, especially now that we got time off work and like when we're at the pool, everybody's at work, and so it's, it's great. It's great. Um, so yeah, we're gonna definitely miss this, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, we're excited of what's ahead. Okay, now we're gonna do one of our most favorite things, which is to take a nap. <laughs> but uh, for real, we love taking a nap. That's right, some people are like, you know, nap is just wasting time, nope. and you need to keep going, but we, we are, love our naps. Yeah, we're our best selves after a nap. And one thing we're gonna miss is napping downstairs <laughs> in our living room. <laughs> Okay, um, one thing that we are gonna miss for sure about our house is our own backyard. Oh, yeah, uh, so one nice. thing that's been great, um, especially for the pups, is that the it's a fenced in backyard so they're able just to run around and roam uh, as much as they want. And then also, um, when it's like bad weather, selfishly, oh, yeah, that's it's, so nice. it's nice just to like let them out and then let them back in without us having to like leash them up every time. Yeah. And so we're gonna go and let the pups out. You wanna go outside? Okay, sit. Sit. Good job. You ready? Yeah. And watch how, watch how crazy they get. You guys, it's nuts. We don't help this at all, but... <gasps> Go! <laughs> Dramatize for your enjoyment. Should we show them one of our favorite things to do? Thanks, you guys want to stay? Yeah, ready? Go get it! However, when we're not, you know, excited about letting them out in the backyard, we love to go for walks around our neighborhood because we have these massive field areas that the dogs love sniffing, running around in, and just living their best life. Exhibit A. <laughs> Okay guys, so we have been having so much fun enjoying our neighborhood and all the things to do that we're certainly going to miss once we leave this place. For sure. um, but right now we have to continue uh, packing up, moving the stuff over that we're keeping uh, to mom and dad. And so we're going to crack on and continue to empty our house. Here is caravaner number numero uno. And here is Caravaner numero dos. You both did Shaka. And they're all wearing hats. They're safety hats. Okay guys, it is time to move the bus. Move the bus! Move the bus! <laughs> no, I can do it, babe. 
like it. Okay, my seat for the ride is the wheel well box, and this is the first time our bus is leaving the neighborhood. We've just driven it around the cul-de-sac since we got it. So this is the first time Honey is actually leaving the neighborhood. All right, babe, here we go. Here we go. First time going over a speed bump. <laughs> Good, smooth turns. The slow day, the calm, and the night will unfold. Never thought that I would be traveling this road. Haven't hit a mailbox yet. Winning. The plan is routed in my head so much. I know. Every time I get to the next place, I go, okay, so I'm gonna hang up. You know, wide left turn here, and we're gonna go under these trees. I'm here to hear that you'll still be around. I thought you were leaving without a sound In my little world you are both pros and cons It's hard to admit when you feel you don't belong So tell me are you still in Right by your side with arms. All right. Even if you don't want. Yes. You <laughs> oh, good. Good job, Maverick. <laughs> wow. Like a boss, babe. Good. Uh, we don't right now. Back oh, yeah. All right, guys. Yeah. Honey is at mom and dad's. Yay! Yay! How do you feel? Feel good. Felt great. I said I only hit one curb, which so is true. That was winning. <laughs> but other than that, it was super smooth, and we're here. Woo! Let the projects begin. You guys, the bus has left the neighborhood. We are all packed up. Everything, legitimately, everything is out of the house. It's and, crazy. And so we're heading over to um, Ashton's mom and dad, and that's where we're going to be staying for the next couple months. Um, as tomorrow, we actually close on the house. So this is our last time we'll really be in the house. I know, we had our last night in the house yesterday. Listen, my voice kind of echoes. Echo! <laughs> last night in the house yesterday. Um, last full day in the house. We'll probably do just a quick walkthrough tomorrow and make sure it's all good, but just recounting all the memories in this space and just the opportunities that this house has allowed for us to have a bus on our driveway, to host so many friends in their buses or vans on our driveway, to get to know our cul-de-sac so well, our neighbors so well. We spent some time this evening, you know, saying bye to all our neighbors and giving like a party gift and stuff. But we're just going to treasure this house and the time that it was in our lives, what it allowed to come into our lives, and yeah, we're going to say bye to it. But now, on to what is next. <laughs> you, you excited talking? You enjoy talking? Yeah, talking, he's so excited. He takes just ready for the nap. Yeah. Okay, guys, we will see you. Next week on a different driveway. Yeah!